So the Cicada has been around for a number of years. This is actually the fifth in line. This is the Mark V. Uh, the Mark I was about a decade ago when there was an actual cicada, the insect infestation. You couldn't walk without stepping on them on the sidewalk. And one of our researchers said if each of those had some sensors in them, you could never go anywhere without being sensed. Really the quantity overwhelmed the quality of the individual sensor. So over the years, this is now our smallest cicada, carries some sensors. It's not a great flyer, just like the insect but it does go to a precision landing on the ground, uh, given GPS coordinates and sense uh, once it's landed. The one that I'm holding actually has a meteorological sensor payload in it, pressure, temperature, humidity, GPS, as well as estimating the wind velocity in flight. Uh, we've dropped them as singles, like just like this off of another UAV. We've also developed a canister launch system. This is a size A sonobuoy, it's a standard Navy canister, and we fit 32 of the individual cicadas. They all go to an individually programmable location. They all have a wireless uh, communication to get our data back. Uh, we finished the Mark V. Um, last year we had a one-year funding, so this is a rapid development for us to grow the whole new vehicle configuration with the same autopilot as well as the launching system and do some demonstrations with it. Uh, really, we think at this point the research, the basic math and the algorithms is done. We would really like to transition this to industry. We know how to do it. We'd like to teach industry how to make products around the technology and sell it back to the Navy and in the civilian market as well.